Hi, this is John from PortalFreeWareGames.com and I'm not here to show you a game. I'm actually here to show you something a wee bit different. So if you go to your browser and you type in PortalFreeWareGames.com I want you to choose the software option and scroll down that page to get to the fourth option, the fourth application. This is it here, Free Software Pack 2020 AIO. I want you to click on that wee image and that will take to the download page. We've got a video for this, this piece of software, you've got a description of this piece of software and you've got two download links for this piece of software in uh, different formats. One of them is a single EXE uh, that you can download and another is a, a DVD-ROM file. Uh, I'll download the EXE file first so what you want to do is you want to click on that And then save. And this is the file here that you'll download. Software pack 2020.exe. It's an exe file, it's an executable file. And like the games on portablefreewaregames.com, this piece of software doesn't need to be installed to run. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click this. And then I'm going to explain to you what this is all about, what this piece of software is. Uh, basically it's a collection of free softwares uh, for Windows. Windows XP, Windows Z Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10. And the idea behind it is, uh, once you, uh, it's made for people, it's made for people that do a lot of say, Windows installations. As, as you probably know if you've done it yourself, installing Windows is only half the battle. Uh, the other half is installing all the other software that goes along with office suites and defraggers and antivirus and what have you. And the idea behind the software pack is that once you've installed Windows, you can get all your software in one place as part of the software pack because it's got everything included. Uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. And this is the welcome screen you get when you start the application up. www.portablefreewaregames.com presents Free Software Pack 2020 and a button to continue. Let's click continue. And what you've got here uh, is a menu uh, with five options. Security, media, maintenance, utilities or design. Uh, you can click on any one of these and I'll, I'll take you to a, a sub-menu. We've got software to install. Let's just click the first one first. Security. You click on security and you've got four options here. You've got a vast antivirus, which is a pretty good free antivirus. Your Komodo firewall is a really good free firewall. You've got Iobit malware fighter, uh, which is an on-demand scanner, anti-malware scanner. Uh, and you've got Firetrust mail washer, uh, an, an anti-spam program. Now let's just click the first option here, a vast antivirus. And it takes you to this, this end menu here. We've got an option to, to read more about this application, visit the website of this application, or install this application. Uh, I'm not going to install it right now because I've already got an antivirus and it's installed, and I don't want it to get installed and conflict, uh, which happens when you try to run two antiviruses at the same time. Uh, but that's, that's how it works. Uh, read me, visit the website, or install. Let's go back again. Back into security. The next option down is Komodo Firewall, a really good free firewall. And then as you see, when you click on the option, it gives you the three sub-options. Read me, visit a website, or install. Uh, let's go back again. Iobit Malware Fighter. Uh, a pretty good on-demand malware fighter. A malware application. Uh, I believe everybody should have a good antivirus and a good on-demand scanner. Uh, just in case there's anything your antivirus misses. And this is probably the best of the three options out there. Uh, Iobit Man Malware. Let's have a look at media. As you can see, you've got seven options here. You've got VLC Media Player, uh, which is probably the best, in fact, it is the best free media player in the world, I would say. You've got Audacity, it's a, 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 an audio editing application. You've got CDXP, which is a, a, a disc burning application, uh, uh, audio discs, DVDs, DVD ROMs, bootable uh, software applications. It can do all of these things. It's a great wee application and it's free. OBS Screen Recorder, 
uh, so you can make videos like this one you're watching right now. You can record everything you do on your, your laptop or your computer and put it on the YouTube. Mix DJ software, that's why I've got any aspiring DJs out there. They want to mix some of their music up uh, using two turntables, two, two virtual turntables of your computer. And it's a really good application actually. Shortcut Video Editor, editor is a really good free video editing program. And DVD Soft Free Studio. Yeah, I think it's 22 applications you get with this, 22 individual applications you get installed at the same time. Uh, upload, uploaders and downloaders and uh, converters and, and editors, uh, all, all kinds of media applications. It's a great piece of software. Maintenance. You've got Sea Cleaner, Defragler, Driver Magician Light, and Iobit Advanced System Care. Sea Cleaner, also known as Crap Cleaner, is a wee application for cleaning, cleaning up all the, the rubbish files that your computer generates, temporary files and what have you. Uh, all computers collect these up over time and it slows down the computer very, very slowly, very gradually. Uh, but if you're not cleaning them out, they do gather up and it does slow your computer down. And this is a great application for, for cleaning them out. Defragler is a defrag program. Uh, anybody that's got a computer should really defrag it. Uh, I, defrag, I defrag it once a month. Uh, other people might use it only once every six months. Other people might use it once a week. There are no rules about how often you should do defrag your computer. Uh, but when you do, here's a great wee defragger for doing it. Uh, Driver Magician Lite. Uh, it's a, it's a driver backup program. If you're going to reinstall Windows, you should really back up your drivers first uh, so you can reinstall them after you've installed Windows. And IOBit Advanced System Care is a system care application. Uh, all, all, all sort of mini applications for, for keeping your computer in top tip con tip top con condition. It's a good wee piece of software. Utilities. Apache Open Office. Probably the best free office suite in the world. Uh, on par with Microsoft Office. Mozilla Thunderbird is an email application. Uh, uh, everybody, everybody that uses it loves it. It's a great new piece of software. 7-Zip is a freeware alternative to WinLa or WinZip. And it's for creating and opening uh, zipped and large archives. It's a very handy new piece of software, that one. Mozilla Firefox, uh, easily the best... Uh, Browser in the world, I would say. I can't imagine using anything else. And QBitTorn is a BitTorn application for downloading uh, for downloading uh, files from the internet, anything at all on the internet, music, uh, films, uh, PDFs, documents, audio files, you name it. Uh, if it's on the internet, you can download it using QBitTorn. Another good piece of software, actually. And last but not least, is design. You've got Inkscape, GIMP. Blender, Instant Storm, and Light Screen. Inkscape is a, a freeware uh, image creating software, uh, a bit like Adobe Illustrator, except it's free and it's almost as good. GIMP is an image altering piece of software, a bit like Adobe Photoshop, uh, except it's much smaller and it's free. Blender uh, is a 3D uh, video file created piece of software for, for doing 3D uh, animations. Uh, it's not for everybody, it's quite complicated to get started with. But if you get into it, and you start looking into it and learning it, it becomes really addictive, and that's why I worry that into this, uh, this, uh, this piece of software. Uh, because it is a good piece of software, it's, it's, it's good fun once you get into it. Instant Storm, uh, that's, that's for creating screensavers. Uh, it's another really good wee piece of software. And Light Screen, as It's a, a, a screenshot capturing piece of software for taking screenshots of your uh, of your screenshot of your desktop at any given time. You can take a photograph and send it to somebody. And that's basically it. that's all the software that's included in this. Uh, like I say, the piece of software, the main uh, EXE, this one here, Software Pack 2020. That that, that is completely portable. Uh, you can burn it on your disk, or you can put it on a flash drive. Well, you can upload it on the internet uh, and, and download it and set, get it set up for downloads for somebody else. You can do what you like, really. It's a great piece of software. 
And now we're going to take a look at the DVD-ROM version of this piece of software. So again, if you click on your browser, and you type in portablefreewaregames.com, choose the software option, and scroll down to the fourth option, this is here, Free Software Pack 2020 AIO. We've already done a look at this. Uh, we looked at the EXE, now we're going to look at the, the zipped archive. So you click on that wee image, and that'll take you to the download page. We've got a video for this that piece of software. You've got a, a list of all the, 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 the other pieces of software included with this piece of software. And you've got two download links. Uh, the, the, I should really tell you that the download links that are put on this uh, are text links. Usually I've got a, a download button on my website. If you want to download some, you click the button. Uh, but I've put them on here as a text link in case you want to add them to your own uh, website or your own blog. Or if you want to send somebody an email or a download link, this is it here. This is the two links here. Single DXE, which we've already looked at, and the, the RAR file, which we're just going to download right now. So click on that. And then save. And this is a file here that you'll download. Software pack 2020.rar. It's a .rar archive. That means it's a compressed archive, and you'll need a certain piece of software to open it. Now, WinZip and WinRAR are the two most commonly used pieces of software for this, uh, but both of them have to be paid for. Uh, 7-Zip is a free software that I can definitely recommend and will, and will open these files for you. So, let's have a look at this. Let's open this up. Here we go. So it's just exactly the same software that was in the last uh, video, I did, the last part of the video I did, the EXE. It's exactly the same, it's just a different format. Uh, this is a format that you can burn onto a disc and it'll automatically create a, a DVD-ROM, uh, a menu that'll fire it, you burn it onto a disc and every time you put the disc in, it'll start up the menu for you and you can download the stuff from there. Uh, some people like the, the, the CD-ROM, the DVD-ROM version and some people like the EXE, uh, but they're both available, they're both free and you can have fun downloading both of them. And this is what will come out in the RAR archive, Software Pack 2020, and it's a folder. Let's open this up. And this is what you've got inside. You've got an autoplay folder, you've got an auto run uh, EXE application, You've got an auto run INF file, you've got a fav icon, uh, icon file, and you've got a readme text, yes, that text uh, document. Now the autoplay uh, is all the software that, that's included in this, and that's where all the software gets kept, all the information. The auto run is just a, a mini application, that's what makes the DVD-ROM run every time you put it in. Uh, the auto run INF is what goes along with the auto run EXE to create a DVD-ROM. The fav icon is just an image file uh, that will show an icon in your, in your DVD drive when you put it in. And the README is just a basic instructions of what to do with this. And without opening it up, all you have to do really is burn all of these five files to a disk as, as data and it'll make a DVD ROM. Uh, so let's have a quick look at this. If you click on the auto run, uh, it'll run through the, the same menu as, as the EXE did. So let's, let's double click this. And as you can see, same the same the welcome screen again, www.portablefreewaregames.com presents free software pack 2020 and continue. And here you are, you've got your five submenus, security, media, maintenance, utilities, design. You click on any one you like, security, the vast antivirus. You've seen all this before, I don't have to show you again. Uh, so I'm not going to bother showing you all again. Uh, you should understand, or you will understand, how this, how this piece of software works. How the software collection works. So I'll just uh, so I'll, that, I'll leave it at that. So I hope you download this piece of software. I hope you have a lot of fun uh, playing this piece of software, and I hope you subscribe. Thanks for watching.